it's the game all right fellas as you guys can see we are actually in a practice raid right now i'm switching it up i'm redoing this video right so i watched it i uploaded it you know it was actually doing good and i just i didn't like it man i didn't like it i want it to make this video better so if you guys do enjoy you know what to do man keep doing what you guys do but today guys i'm going to show you from two different areas as you guys know this is the right side i believe it's like the back right side of streets of tarkov if you guys do know expo expo's checkpoint is around here to the right uh, we did just spawn from this area so what i'm gonna do right is i messed up my video by not showing the full route i'm not gonna do any cuts really i'm gonna show you guys the actual video and uh as you guys seen i threw up the map so you guys know where i'm talking about i think th these are the little things i messed up like i messed up in uh, that video that definitely was some rookie mistake for uploading that but it's all good fellas but yeah guys this is expo right here um i'm gonna show you from what i would do if i got this spawn as you guys know we did spawn back here i i take it straight up the ramp straight up the ramp i had to pop the sj6 but if you go right here you run up the ramp right there could be like the best i've gotten was like a surgery kit and a cms and that was really it like that was the best i've gotten. i probably only looted it twice but i actually don't get this spawn too often so it's a pretty good uh what i can show you guys what i know for a decent amount of times looting this but i will show you the other spawn across if that's where like my main loot spot is we're gonna get to that though uh i'm gonna show you where basically any spawn you can get to where i'm going but we run up these steps so there is a little looting spot on the second story if you go in here nothing too crazy though uh i've only seen the weapon case but hey you never know man you can get a good weapon case yeah but the weapon case is pretty good so we go back out you can't loot these two those are uh not even available to open or unlock go up the third floor right and hit straight to the door as you guys can see it's open this is the only one you can hit but really good loot um this plastic what is it plastic suitcase i think is the name of it you can hit those are actually really good as well as another one there i actually did see a drop i forgot where it was i think it was a drill that spawn right there not too bad haven't got anything from the bathroom but there also there will be a weapons case i believe there can be a rare spawn right here i have actually gotten a bitcoin guys past this there's always water for some reason right there but i have gotten a bitcoin right about here i believe i think it was on these jackets so definitely check that that's big big time and look at the view guys too like so if you hear somebody i mean they're dead they're not gonna know unless they're just an absolute chad then you're just done but we have the weapon case as well fellas not too bad got some nice fruit and you also have the file cabinets right here, but I don't know anything else. I think just file cabinets. I would check the desk for sure. We do have this cabinet. I haven't got anything from it yet. Uh, I probably looted this place about 10, 15 times. Like I said, it's not like too big for me, but uh, not too bad. Oh yeah, side note guys, out of time. This is where you get the, I believe it was the six. It'll be right here. Well, I'm not gonna tell you all that, but yeah, it's right here. <laughs> Go in that door, you'll find it, look around. But yeah, so we hit up this fellas, and the main goal, like I said, we always try to go to where our main source of like the route is. That's what I'm gonna call it, guys. It's our route to where the chads are not, and it is a safe way to get money. Oh, hold up now. Fucking pussy. Ooh, guys, I almost messed up. Okay, where we just killed the scab, actually, you can hit the safe right here. Really good. There is a back room right here that if you want to go, it's okay. I don't uh, usually loot it. This is what, like I said, guys, I'm doing only what I loot. I definitely do loot that safe, though. It's my fault for missing that. You can loot those right there. Not too big, but we take it all the way across, and we're going to go inside this building. Once we get in here, fellas, I always go over here. You can hit the ammo case as well as the grenade and there's another ammo case <laughs> as you can see yeah it's it's not bad at all run in here and boom this is this is this is where the good loot starts happening so i actually have another spawn 
So the other spawn I was going to show you is I have gotten this. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> they can't fuck with me. I mean, it's just that simple. Let me just calm down. But yeah, so usually, so as we guys, you know, like we ran that route, right? So we run all the way there. We loot that. We come in here after the grenade and ammo. We hit this up, the duffel bag. There will also be, uh, like sometimes it'll just be some random loot. Nothing too crazy right here, but might have some good ammo. Also check these. So I will spawn, like this is a pretty rare, I mean not rare, but common spawn for me. You'll either spawn like exactly right here or maybe in here, just in this area. And you always gotta loot it, man. There will be a valuable spawn. I'm surprised there's not one right now, but it's always usually a valuable spawn right here. You got the scab body, duffel, sometimes something right there. And these are big time, fellas. These are big time. I'm telling you, check the shelves. No one checks them for some reason. Like literally nobody checks these. You also got the file cabinets, which are pretty good. I don't, I usually don't loot file cabinets too much when I'm on my PMC, uh, you know, especially like, halfway through the white because you got most keys and speaking of keys i'm glad i said that because let me show you guys the keys i use so we got finance finance small office x-ray we really only have this for um the quest archives iron gate and you guys see, you know you see the rest but, but yeah that's basically it for this uh room What if we just got one tap, bro? I would be so hurt. I'm not gonna lie, but hey guys, we're about to go into the golden room. We run out of there. Do some fucking parkour, man. Okay, I'm stuck. All right, so this is the big time. We come in here. You can usually get a Tetris. Usually I'm lying. But yeah, guys, we hit the dead scav. Got some ammo, sugar. Check these benches. You got the duffel bag. You also, and not really anything from here, but there could be a ratchet here. That's about 80 to 90K from uh, just traders alone. So that's big. Put that in your fucking ass. But you got the ammo box, grenade box, and we hit a turn right away. Boom. Straight to this door, guys. This is big. Okay, this is the room right here. This is where you get the big money. We got the middle door. Usually a valuable spawns here. Uh, it's new to me, actually. I didn't know that this book these two books definitely check this as well as this chair come in here i would check each chair there's definitely usually something there as well as this dresser also something can spawn right here so once we're done looting these two uh rooms we come in here this is the big time loot as you guys can see we got the cat there can be a bitcoin that's what, where the bitcoin will spawn so remember that guys bitcoin is everything you can get the rooster clock and i don't know what else but definitely like rooster clock you know good 50k plus items will spawn in that oven get any type of ammo more fiends injectors all that good stuff guys from there this is like i would call this the money room this is the money room right here everybody loves it and they know about it so this is one part where you probably already seen it this is where people will come fight you but where i'm about to go for the rest of this you will be pretty safe that's why it is called the safest way but we come in here hit the jacket usually there will be as you guys can see some pills or i would say like coffee beans actually is like the most i get right there as well as a military crate some ammo and this is usually always sugar food or ammo every single time come through here jump hit the toolbox some pp ammo this is actually a very good valuable spawn it's i don't know why it's right here but it's pretty good uh you have to get kind of lucky but definitely check that hit the duffel nice little cover too here someone will come in do that fucking but yeah that's about it for this floor we can go up to the fourth and we hit right here this jacket guys We'll check it for you. This jacket is big time. <clears throat> so we hit this jacket, uh, toolbox, dead scav. We got the beautiful desktop, duffel, 
it actually keeps going um something can spawn right here as well as this cabinet and something can also spawn that suitcase it's it's not as rare i mean it is it's not as common now but in the first wipe which was last wipe that was my first uh that was like more stuff used to spawn there more basically got the jacket in this room got the ammo box as well as the military crate um i don't loot this room too too much but once you hit all that we go back down these steps fellas yeah i know i know just gotta bear with me man just bear with me now usually i would show you guys this but like i said i don't loot it too often so i want to do the stuff i always do right so i'm gonna skip it um you can go check it if you want it's usually not good to go in there man because i swear there's always just someone down that hallway for some reason but hey if you want to do it you can do it but we go in here i skipped this as well come through here is that a is that a sniper scab guys run straight into this room i mean to this building sorry we go right into the back all there is though is this desktop that's all i uh loot mainly every time kick this like we're him you got this uh great i don't know something's about this jacket it's pretty lucky guys i've gotten like six intelligence folders from there we run through here hit the medical bag the reason i am here though guys it's pretty safe you know just you walk through just loot it you don't gotta go crazy running around you'll get to hear people around you and i instantly take off you kill that scav up there the sniper scav of course maybe you might have to fight people this is the only scary part right running through you have to check these windows and of course kaban if he's in there and i this is how i usually run it so i'm acting like i'm really like playing so if we're playing right now that's where i messed up in my video that's why i'm redoing it guys because i want to show you so i'm not going to do too much like everything's going to add up to where we started in that house right and we ran all the way here this is like my main run now we're hitting the main loot like that that's where it starts we run here you hit into the cafe loot everything you see in the cafe check every single table it's really that simple check every table medical table and yeah even these desks loot everything run in here shut this door definitely check the uh this is a pretty like almost like 90 percent spawn rate that that will be there even with the new change in the loot run through this alleyway this is where this is like my safe haven to an extent you know finance is always like eh, but this is my safe haven we got the duffel bag that's a new uh, addition to this raid loot the duffel bag you come in here get the tactical box love it this is my favorite little room man my favorite little room i'm telling you it's like a little dot on the map i'll, I'll throw it up there if it's if i can see it but you loot that uh duffel bag We run through here and this is uh this is the optional this is definitely optional right here right so say let's see what our let's see what our actuals are so we have damaged house right so this is perfect i'm gonna show you exactly what i do damaged house 100 percent success rate so you run in here loot these two jackets usually there's an ammo case right here like i'm I, i'm very surprised it's not here there could be bolts and nuts as well on these shelves you loot this jacket this is always here file cabinets always optional medical but uh bag boom so this place is done and i'm gonna show you guys in here this is some keys now so we're actually gonna use some keys for the first time so as you guys can see we got the main lobby we go straight to the right come in here first key baby this is the, this is actually the small office key i'll show you guys the key right here so this is a small office key um it's great because it actually is one of our keys with a safe good safe you got a desktop so two desktops a safe file cabinets and this uh jacket so with that guys you're easily gonna make your money back for that key it's, it's i think the key is like i'll throw it up uh, i don't even know how much it is actually i'll put it on the screen for the flea market but yeah so we got the peas this is usually food or like paper come in here there's actually a gold chain spawn there as well as here and if you run back in this way 
there can be a gold chain spawn right here as well as this as well i, I don't know why it's always a gold chain but uh i mean it's pretty good dude you got the max energy check these tables this whole big table as well as a duffel bag 100 percent spawn usually and this is our second key this is basically just straight desktops as you guys see one two three four also check the tables of uh where the desktops are at five and then this will be a duffel bag or not it's about 50 50 you never know but yeah i mean that's really finance guys for me um the rest is optional this is where you can get the duffel bag this is spawn there you go in here jacket toolbox and if you go in there this is toolbox so you can loot that if you want um i don't like sticking around in uh, finance for too long it's kind of a loot and scoot so once you do get out of finance we run through this alleyway run straight up in here this is where we're just gonna loot really a plastic suitcase there can be like an ifac or um maybe a sugar something like that we come in here in the plastic hit this man this is a very good loot spawn you can definitely get some good loot for it from sure and we go back up to the second story so this is a good room nice viewpoint you can listen around you but we got the toolbox usually a water filter will either be here or here and i mean that's big now guys you know that's 100k or you're making moonshine or sugar water i mean got the toolbox as well in the bathroom and we're actually getting pretty close now to the end guys um this this route right here like i said when you start from the super uh big money room hit that hit the little building run in here cafe as well hit this and then we come in here right this room dude i swear no one ever loses except the non-chads and i respect it but there will be a uh usually a drink here maybe some ammo or a drink duffel bag another duffel bag military crate as well as these bad boys right here these are just the these are the loot beauties if it, it, hopefully you get good loot pool from this if you get a little loot pool from uh i can't talk but yeah if you get good loot pool from these big time oh yeah as well as this building um this is optional for you but there is three of these inside here you just gotta kill a decent amount of scavs or um you're probably gonna have to fight some people a lot of people always go there so that's why it's not on this because it's not safe but we run through here and that's about it guys that's truly about it so we either take this so damage is actually right over here this place is optional i am gonna show you because i do run this a lot so i will show you this one there is paper usually something right here nothing too crazy got the duffel bag run through the hallway and these two computers guys are big they are big time for me i've gotten 10 to 15 gpus recommend it a lot it, it is definitely is big and as well as these file cabinets it takes a while but if you're a scav every time i said it's optional for file cabinets loot them if you're a scav doing this raid i mean doing this loot pattern R loot every single file cabinet we've seen so far but that's about it guys as you guys can see like that building i was talking about this is it um we can't we were just in here that's where we were remember where i said guys where i stopped us from the first time and i said this is where we kind of like a common spawn for me and you had the dead scab with that box right next to him with the valuable loots that's where our route started right and we're just here guys and even if you're on this side that's the thing that's the beauty of it even if you're on here this is a good spawn point you just start off right here and then you just take it and like I said, I showed you guys construction, right? In the house I shot at, and you just take it right in there, right into the room, and that's the cutout for it. So, and you just go chilling, man. We're having fun. So if you guys do want to just try to make it out, you know, make it out alive, actually have something going on this game as your PMC, uh, try this method. And if you guys do get, if you guys do get rich off it, man, hit that like button, comment, um, and subscribe if you're new, man.